What is up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly attach your monitor mount to your IKEA Linmon tabletop. And I'm saying properly because if you just stick your monitor mount straight up onto here and you have a pretty heavy monitor, you're probably going to break your desk. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix that. Before we continue the video, here's a quick shout out to last week's first comment by Abhinav. And he asked, what is the best mouse you can buy for about $50 to $70? So to answer your question, I would say either the Corsair M65 Pro or the Logitech G Pro are two really good choices for this budget. Anyways, let's get into this week's video. So the reason monitor mounts lean when they're attached to the Linmon tabletops is because the inside of these desks are literally just cardboard. And what I mean by this is that it's cardboard shaped in a honeycomb pattern sandwiched in between two pieces of very thin wood. And because of this, these desks do have a little bit of bend to them, unlike a standard wood desk. As you guys can see, it's about to break through the thin piece of wood on the top of my desk. And the more my desk bends, the more my monitor slants down. It is definitely hard to mount heavy monitors on these type of desks, since they're not solid. So to fix the issue, you're going to need to get a sheet of wood. It doesn't need to be too thick, but I would say at least half an inch thick. Then you will need to draw out where you're going to cut the piece of wood. I would make the piece of wood about 10 inches by 7 inches. It doesn't need to be exact, but just a decent amount bigger than your mount clamp. Once you cut this piece, trace it out on your piece of wood again and cut another piece just like before. And if you don't have tools to cut wood, you guys can just go to Home Depot or your local hardware supply store and get a piece of wood and have them cut it to size for you. So now you should have two pieces of wood like so. I just used some scrap wood in the back of my yard, so it's not the prettiest. So since I have a black desk, I spray painted these pieces of wood with a few thick coats of paint and I even gave it a clear coat to make it less rough. Make sure you let them completely dry before continuing. So next, if you already installed your mount, you need to take it down. Make sure you remember where the mount clamp was because we're going to be putting these two pieces of wood in the same spot. So first I'd find something to put in between your desk and these pieces of wood. You guys can just roll up a piece of duct tape so it's sticky on both sides or you can just use some mounting foam tape like me. I'm doing this to keep them in place while nothing is sandwiching them together and to avoid marking my desk. So now stick your first piece of wood on top where your mount will go and then stick your second piece of wood right under it on the bottom of your desk. This should distribute the weight of your monitor mount so it isn't just one little post bending your desk. Now you just need to put your monitor mount on your desk on top of these two pieces of wood. So hopefully this lets you tighten your mount without bending your desk as much. Just make sure that you do not over tighten otherwise you'll probably break your desk in half. As you guys can see, it really helped me out and it does not stick out too much because my gaming area is always so dark. So anyways, I hope that video was helpful for you guys and if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and comment down below. And if you guys do enjoy tech content, I would consider subscribing for weekly videos. Before you go, don't forget that the first comment of every video gets a shout out the following week. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you drop a comment down below. But anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Reality. It is touching the truth. Thank you.